When you're swimming, you don't really notice it, but then you look around you and you realize how fast everything's going and it's like, wow. Good morning, everyone from the city of Yichang in Hubei province. Today, I'm at this lovely park on the banks of the Yangtze, and there are a bunch of people down here getting ready to go for a swim. Look at them all. I mean, come on. How can I come here and not get in on that? Fortunately, I came prepared, and I actually already have my swimsuit with me because when I was in this park yesterday, I already got all the essential information about how to get in on the Yangtze River swimming scene. This park doesn't just attract swimmers. With its beautiful shaded gardens and squares and its great view of the Yangtze River, it attracts everything from Tai Chi groups to skateboarders. From kids taking school photos to athletic grandmas and grandpas. You could spend all day wandering in here watching the action unfold. But back to the main topic, I am here for the swimming. I have successfully recruited a swimming buddy. I don't really want to do this alone because I don't know where all the currents are. So I found a swimming buddy and we're about to get in and experience the Yangtze River. I don't swim in the river often enough to actually bother buying one of the the fancy orange thingies so this will also do with my rope made out of plastic bags I don't know what I was expecting but it's really cold. It is very, 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 very cold in here. My swimming buddy lent me his floaty thing because he said my <laughs> my floaty thing made out of trash isn't gonna look good in the video, which is definitely true. So, I'm, yeah. Don't try them. You had that <laughs> you guys may be wondering why we're only staying by the banks and didn't actually cross the river. Unfortunately, as the guy in the park told me yesterday, it is not possible to swim across at this particular section. If you want to actually swim across the Yangtze, stick around until the end. I'll get to it. This is just the appetizer. It's a pretty scary place to swim if you're used to the crystal clear and still waters of a pool. But if you're a confident swimmer, you like a challenge, and you don't mind having spectators, the Yangtze River is the place to be. And you get some cool scenery that you will never find on a pool deck. This is a pond, it's really cool. Here comes a barge. Look at that beast. It looks like a toy in this video footage, but I'm telling you, it was massive. Aside from being a unique way to appreciate the local scenery, swimming in the Yangtze River is also a great way to meet the locals around here. Yep, this is the retired life of my dreams. Outdoors, fit, and badass. After our swim, Mr. Xie was still not done with the day's exercise and took me on a little bike tour along the riverbank. Turns out his daughter lives in Chengdu, the same city that Wei's brother lives in, so hopefully we'll cross paths again there and maybe do some swimming in Chengdu. Now it's time to head to our next destination, Wuhan. Wuhan is the capital of Hubei province, and it's where I'll be doing the legendary Yangtze River crossing swim with my friend Gustav from Norway and a group of local swimming enthusiasts. Crossing the Yangtze River at 10 a.m. So excited. A year and a half later, I'm back on the shores of the Yangtze River to swim across this bad boy again. Since this is quite a demanding swim compared to Yichang, I got some fins to compensate for how slow I'll be going carrying the GoPro the entire way. Wow. 
老婆要活着回来，拜拜。There's a nice little musical performance going on on the banks over there. I don't know if you can hear it. It's a jam, whatever it is. Heading out towards the middle of the river. And we're going to be going under that bridge in a few minutes. Going under the Yonti River Bridge. Look at this majestic beast. Going under the bridge. Yay. I know, right? This current is crazy in this part. This bridge actually has two layers. The lower level is for trains and the higher level is for cars and trucks. Too bad there's no train coming through right now. It is a sight to see. The current in this river is extremely fast, but when you're swimming, you don't really notice it. But then you look around you and you realize how fast everything's going and it's like, wow, this current is insane. So apparently we're going to get carried a total of three kilometers, even though the distance across the river is only one. So we're doing one kilometer of swimming, but we're going to end up three kilometers downstream because this current is so fast. You always got to be watching here and there to see if any boats are coming. Look at this behemoth going by. Wow. And there she goes. Enjoying the Wuhan scenery from a very unique vantage point. The middle of the river. Five stars. Dong Wang Miao. Dong Wang Miao. Nali Shen Miao. Here almost there. Look at those skyscrapers. This is the first time we have no big buildings. This place is a specific building. Its name is Wuhan Guan. Every day, when it comes to the night, it will be able to get the night. Every day, when it comes to the night, it will be able to get the night. Finally arrived at this park. My third Yangtze River crossing was a success. Here we are. Hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse of life in Yitong and Wuhan, two really great cities that I'd love to visit again and explore more thoroughly when it's not 100 degrees outside. Anyway, in this weather, a tour from the river works perfectly. It's a great way to meet locals and see the scenery without being annoyed by the heat. I was very fortunate to encounter two very friendly people who took me along with them on the river swim and made this video possible. That's all for today. See you guys next time. <laughs>